Hey guys, welcome back to another Tivident episode. This is episode 140 and let's get straight into things. So we are going to start off by just looking at this build that we created in the last episode. There are some things that will change when we upgrade to Update Aquatic. So for example, some of these buttons might change. Also the, the trapdoors, we've got the spruce and dark oak variants, what I think will look good for a build like this. So there are some things we probably will change in the future. And I've also made some modifications to the uh, the ground in here. So I've put in here some soul sand, some coarse dirt, and then just uh, some grass and a flower or two. Just to add a little bit more detail on the inside, rather than just being a solid hay bale flooring. I think that looks good. And something else I wanted to experiment with was, could we mix in some of these blocks? So where I'm using this to lower this, uh, to basically keep this horse in or out. What if we... Uh oh. Go on. I'm going to go back. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> All right, you want to go for a ride? Fine. There you go, you've had your ride. Go back in. All right, so now that we're inside, let's lift up this lever. What do we think of this for a cauldron idea? So rather than using a stair, we could just use a cauldron. And uh, we do see a little bit of the sticky piston below, but does that matter? Not sure if it matters. If we had this block here as being grass, that might uh, help camouflage a little bit better. So we've got this kind of approach, and that will work even when there's water in the cauldron. So we could try that, and I was also thinking we could just use hay bales. Just try <laughs> they all want to get out. <laughs> all right, fine. You want to go for a ride? There you go. You've had your ride. This is um, the first horse that we put into this uh, stable, so it's the fastest one I have as well, and I think it's serving that you you get the diamond. So congrats for you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we could probably put some hay bale on this one just to keep things different. And then for this one, what do we do with this one? Maybe just put another hail bell here. Just something a little bit different than just having the stair. Yeah, something like that could look okay. Yeah, much better. <laughs> Alright, so now that we have this uh, stable all up and running, I did mention we were going to build some more, so let's do a little bit more building. I'm going to create some stables right over here. My vision is that we'll have a few different structures between this path joining this path. And it'd be nice to have something that's going to obstruct the, the view as you walk through. So different things to look at rather than just being a direct path all the way across. So I think the best thing that we could do up this end is perhaps put in another stable. So I'm going to clear out a little bit of an area here. And then I'm going to go for a totally different look. Well, <laughs> I say that, but uh, I think you'll see the similarities that I have in mind. Uh, so I'm going to create it using wood again, no surprises. And for this one, what we're going to do is use uh, spruce wood. In fact, where do we want the entrance? Do we want the entrance from this side? Rather than it being this side? That could be good, interesting if I have the entrance this way. So let's go for the same depth. I like the depth. So here, which depending on which way you look at it, but uh, it's got four blocks uh, for the inside of the pen. So that's two, that'll be three, that'll be four. So then this will be the main entrance here. So let's just see what is that width going to look like. Yep, happy with that. And I'm going to create this reasonably quickly because I do want to show you guys the simplicity of the design that I am thinking of here. Because this, I want different classes basically. So different pens will uh, be maybe worth more or be more high valued depending on what horses are inside. And is that going to be... Yeah, I think that will be... Okay. Alright, so what we're going to do... How high up do we want to go? Probably not very. Did something like that. And for now, let's just put in... In fact, this is an idea that I had. <laughs> Why don't we just do this for the entranceways? So we can still walk in and a horse shouldn't be able to get out. So that could be interesting. And I was thinking where maybe we could put in some upside down stairs here again. That's no surprise. And then, in fact, I need to get some more blocks here. Sorry, grass, but you're going to have to go. I'll replace you at some point. Because what I'm thinking of doing is having an overhang with some support uh, structures. Basically using fence. So, something like that. And now, let's do an overhang. I'm going to try it with dark oak. don't know if that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing. Actually, where do we want the overhang? <laughs> Because I do want to be able to use uh, some fences, so I do want it to join. Let's just try some spruce fences. I don't want to go out too far, because otherwise it'll be protruding for where you're going to walk. I have to go up three blocks. 
BK. Then let's just go up, put in some dark oak. Something like that. And then I was thinking what we could do along here is just put, literally just put a, a line not of the planks, just of the spruce wood. Do something like that. Nice and simple, bit of a lower class uh, stable, this one. Of course, some extra detailing on this side. I'm just going to add in a fence here so the horse can't jump out. And then just put an overhang with the trapdoors. Then we'll probably just put one or two pot plants maybe in here. Let's just try two, see what that looks like. Let's add a little bit of detail to the side there. And then I'm not sure what I'll do for the rear because this is effectively the rear now of that uh, stable. But from the front, when you take a look, I think this is going to look quite nice. And uh, now you can start to see what it's going to look like as you going to uh, just look through to that other path. You can see your obstruction is it's trying to bring that narrow down that gap really when you're walking through. And I think that's going to be a nicer look rather than having it all open. So I'm going to probably create maybe one more um, pen or stable right next to this one. And then I don't think I can go anymore because the land kind of drops off a little bit. So. I think it would be a bit strange to, to keep going across. I'll be having too much of a drop here, but I could probably fit at least one more in. So I was taking a look at this stable and I thought it might look a little bit better if it was slightly taller. So we've got this kind of elongated entranceway here as well, where it's much taller on the front. So I think to keep the same kind of theme over here would look good. So I've uh, basically lowered down uh, the stable or added an extra block down the bottom here. So we just got to basically go around and then lower all the sides. And then um, we've just got to add in the insides. Not sure what I'll do for the roof yet. I'll just go with a stone variant maybe. To uh, make it a little bit different from this one. But uh, I think this will work. Now we do have to think about how do we prevent a horse from getting through when I lower this. In fact, I do need to put down grass here. So let's grab ourselves some grass. Because when I put down these um, upside down stairs now going to have a two block gap above us and if I do put in a flower pot that will prevent a horse from getting through so a player or a horse can't jump through here but they can get through here so maybe we just need that was weird <laughs> maybe we just need one right there maybe we don't need a one on each level how many saplings do I have just got two what have we got over here Let's grab ourselves another sapling. Whoa! Uh, which one? Which one do we want? Let's go for a spruce. Hope you're proud of me. I'm using more of my shulker boxes. <laughs> it's taking a while, but I am starting to use them more. So something like that. A horse should not be able to get through there. I don't think, anyway. So I wanted to make the stable a little bit wider, so I've added another pen on the end here. Now I'm just wondering about the, the roof. I'm thinking we could probably use the stone brick slabs on the ends or perhaps we could even try out regular bricks and I think I like the regular bricks variant better so if we go down and just take a look at the center part here I'm not exactly sure what we'll put in here I could either just extend this across and just go all the way across that could be okay nice and simple or another thing that I was thinking of doing we could probably put in some trapdoors so just go across like this like that one both I think could give an interesting look. I think it um, really adds to this looking a little bit cheaper rather than it being a more upmarket kind of stable design like this one. And I think going with some basic materials uh, will look good for the roof. So the flooring is in. I'm not sure if I've overdone the, the, the variation here, but I think for now it's going to be okay. I'll just put some grass on top of these grass blocks. Um, and I've gone for the trapdoor ceiling. I think it's going to be Okay, uh, we won't have too much water dripping in, but sorry horses, whoever's in here, maybe you might get burnt throughout the day. But for the lighting, I was thinking about how can we light up this uh, area, and I thought, you know what, let's go with a daylight sensor, and we're going to power these redstone lamps at night time, because we don't really need to light this up during the day, uh, particularly when uh, sunlight can come in directly through the ceiling. So what we could do is hook up some, uh, like, probably just one single daylight sensor and that made me think where am I going to put it <laughs> and then I was thinking you know what over here we've got this area here 
what if we were to turn this into a lake? So have this level here as water, water at this level as well. And then we could probably hide a daylight sensor in the water and then just run some simple redstone across and power these uh, redstone lamps. So that was an idea that I have. I'm just going to think about it a little bit more just to make sure I'm not going crazy if I'm going to flood this area. Because if I am going to have water at this height, it means the water is going to come out here. And then I'm going to have to cap it off at some point so it doesn't uh, just run everywhere. Or I don't, and I'll let this whole area get flooded, but I don't think I really want that. But having a little lake just there could be interesting. Hmm, maybe scratch that idea. So I've decided to make another change with the lighting situation. I've got daylight sensors up on the roof that's going to power these two redstone lamps, and that's going to work well for us, but I can't do the same on the rear because we'd have a different setup here. So we will be able to see the exposed uh, redstone if I do it that way. So I'm going to do just a regular torch at the back here. I think that's alright. Don't mind having a different uh, variety of... Whoa! A variety of lighting in here. I think that, yeah, that's going to be good enough, I think. Let's put that there. That should light up this whole area now. I think that's going to be good. So let's grab ourselves our horses. So here's the first one. See if you guys are going to enjoy it. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if I just stopped riding just then or I actually did hit my head. Either way, tight fit as you can tell. I might have to rethink this. I could raise this, I guess. Put down a slab or something, but I'm... Okay, well, obviously I have to change this design. So yet another iteration of this stable design. Hopefully this is the final one. And hopefully these horses can no longer escape. So I'll put in a line of these dark oak slabs now. So that should prevent any horse or player trying to jump through this gap. And we've just got a flower pot here. I don't really need them long here anymore, but I'll leave one there anyway. And for the lighting, I've also removed the rest of the lamp with daylight sensor on top. I was just thinking about it and I don't really like it. So what I'm going to do instead is just follow the same pattern over here. Which height level do I need it at? This height, right? Yes, that height. So I'm just going to get through. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just do the exact same pattern over here. It's not exactly what I was hoping for. I was hoping to do something a little bit more, I don't know, different. I totally just put a firework rocket on there, didn't I? That's better. But who knows, maybe I'll change it out in the future. And I've also put in a dark oak slab just here as well because basically what was happening is I was just hitting my head on that block I can't have a full block there I can have a semi-transparent or a non-full block there so by having a slab it's a non-full block I can ride on through and I won't hit my head really this is all the quartz that I've got I'm sure I've got more quartz somewhere <laughs> must have a stockpile of quartz just in a random chest but that's alright, that's the part of the fun of having multiple chests all over your world. One day you might just stumble across a gold mine of <laughs> different blocks that you thought you had lost. So, I've got an idea. So we've just created these stables. I'm going to hit that stair again. <laughs> so I want to come across and I'm going to build something down in there. And, I don't know, I just... As I was working on these stables, I just got really excited for this idea. Hopefully it's going to turn out the way that I want it to in my mind, but... Here we go. So I'm going to try and build a cart that we can have pulled along by a horse. I know it's a little bit gimmicky. I haven't really got too many gimmicky things in my world, but this is going to be one of them. And I'm going to try building myself a horse cart. So how are we going to do this? <laughs> I was thinking we could use coal blocks for the wheels. So where do we want this cart to sit? Maybe here? And... Is that going to be too wide for a cart? That kind of width? That is pretty wide, isn't it? Yeah, let's bring it in a little bit. <laughs> let's go... Hmm. What about even something like that? So, I basically want the wheels to... In fact, this is going to have to go back a little bit, I think. You can tell I haven't really 
exactly plan this just yet, but hey, we're going to make it up as we go. Alrighty, so let's put down the frame. So this is going to be the bed of the cart. How wide do we want this to be? Something like that. Is that going to be too wide? Too long? Could be. Let's make it a little bit shorter. Alright, something like this. And then we could have just a little front bit. This is where we're going to have to have a fence. I've got the spruce fence. How's the spruce fence going to look like up there? Might be alright. Let's put down the buttons for the insides of the wheels. And then let's build the frame. So I'm going to go with quartz. And just go up a couple of blocks. Don't want to go too high. And we'll just go across with a stair. And one more. Make this go down. Then I guess we'll do something like that. It's starting to look a little bit like a cart. <laughs> and then we'll do the same on this side. Hopefully I've got enough quartz on me. Just it looks like. Get some blocks. Really? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay, that is a little bit of excitement, but that's what you happens when you get an effect that you weren't expecting. Alright, so let's just climb up again. In fact, I can remove these two blocks, can I? I think I can. Because I'm basically going to put in a window here, I think. That could be quite nice. I could probably put a window right there as well. Guess a full block there, so let's get rid of this block. Do I have? Yeah, I've got some trapdoors on me. Let's climb on in and install these windows. And then for the ceiling here, I guess we'll just use some slabs. And then I'll need a full block here. And then should we put a door on it? Maybe we should install the door. What do we have? Uh, dark oak. A dark oak door. Really? I know I've made them. But apparently I haven't. So, there we go. Let's now install this. Now, do I have to... I think it's just this way, right? Which way do we want this to open? Oops. Wrong way again. Let's go this way. There we go. Now, tell me, does this look like some kind of traveling cart? <laughs> it's, um, I guess different. <laughs> I don't mind it though. I think it's going to work okay. Do I have grass on me? No, I do not. Let's grab some grass. I hear a zombie stalking us. Where are you, buddy? You want to come for a ride? <laughs> Maybe not. Replace some of this dirt. Hopefully, this is going to stay as grass. Uh oh! Wow, that totally launched me. <laughs> and it took out some of my cart with my quartz. Damn it. What is it with these creepers? <laughs> I'm being invaded by creepers at the moment. Um. Maybe I need to light up my island just a little bit better. <laughs> so you're going to leave me alone? I need to go back and recover my things. Let's see if we can do this. Then assess the damage. See how much of that quartz survived. I'm going to guess none of it, but <laughs> we'll see because... Is that another creeper down there? A little bit paranoid now. I'm going to see creepers everywhere. By the way, I did make a small change up here. Put this little path in. And uh, just put this little edge of uh, shrubbery along the side of the mountain. I think that looks good. But you can see I've got really no torches up in here at the moment. Which is probably why I'm getting in a bit of an infestation with these creepers. Really? Okay, I definitely need to add some torches around here. So, <laughs> let's see. What do we have? Do we have some things here? I'm going to fight you with my pick. Hey, you're carrying something of mine. What have you got there? What has he got there? 
Uh oh. He's holding something. I can't figure out what he's holding though. <laughs> what do you got, buddy? What is that thing? Is that a fence? Just a strange way of holding it. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. Alright, so, do you know what this calls for? <laughs> we installed this a couple of episodes ago, let's put it to good use. I don't think I've even fully stocked it yet, so we're going to just have to roll with it and just see what I have loaded up into the dispensers. We're going to use the emergency equipment station. <laughs> so let's go into our blacksmith building here and then gear up and then reclaim our items. I want my elytra and I want everything back, I don't want to lose my, my gear. So, let's put this to good use. When in doubt, help me. Interesting. I didn't get all my stuff equipped. But I got a lot of it equipped. So that's a good start. Now I need a... sword. Let's go up here. I have to make sure that my items don't uh, despawn. I can't take too long here. Give me something that's... yeah, give me a smite sword. What else do we need? I think that's about it. Okay, time to reclaim my gear. Give me my stuff back. Who's down here? Uh oh, <laughs> he's got my sword. And my boots. Thank you, I'll take that. Okay, Creeper wants to say hi to. Don't you explode. Jeez, my stuff went everywhere. It's all the way out here. That's pretty amazing. So I think we've got everything back. He's growling. Skeleton up there, there's a zombie around here somewhere. Are you wearing some of my stuff? <laughs> Chilling out inside the cart. Maybe they're just all excited to see the cart, I'm not sure what it is, but... <laughs> I should sleep, maybe that's the key. Can you imagine if we had phantoms in my world right now, with Update Aquatic? I think I'll be dying non-stop, which is terrifying to think about. So I've recovered all my gear, and now we just need to craft ourselves some extra quartz. So the cart is almost back together, and um, while repairing this, I've decided to switch out these full quartz blocks with the pillar blocks, just to add a little bit more texture to the exterior here. I think that looks... Oh, should we change this one? Probably. I do think this looks slightly better. Do we have any more? To craft some more. There we go. What do we think? It's a shame we can't have the same pattern on the stairs, but there's not much we can do about that. Did I get that block back? <laughs> I'm guarding my quartz now quite <laughs> like it's very precious to me. But uh, alright, so there we go. I can't switch this block out. It's going to be too dark for grass to stay there, so I'll probably change this ground area to be a mixture of coarse dirt and regular dirt anyway. But I think that's going to be it. I was going to change this out to be a dark oak fence. There we go. Now, let's grab ourselves a horse. And then let's see what this cart actually looks like. It's been a shame to build all this and it still looks terrible. A lot of sacrifice went into that. Now, who wants to be pulling a cart? Anyone in particular? I don't think I've got one of these guys. You're it, buddy. <laughs> what do you like? Yeah, nice and heavy, nice and slow. Slow and steady, so you're going to be it. Let's see if you're going to behave yourself. Is it going to look like this guy is going to be able to tow this thing? <laughs> it's not too bad. <laughs> uh, it's a shame I can't make him stay in this facing direction. But, um, I guess you get the sense for what we're going for. So what do you think? This is this kind of area. Uh, I really wanted to build in this kind of style. I really wanted to create something here. 
Now that you look at that quartz there, it might stand out a little bit too much, so we might look to change that in the future, but for now I'll stay with the quartz. I'm pretty happy with the actual cart design, but I do want to change potentially the actual colour scheme there. In that I need to add some other details so it doesn't look so <laughs> centred with the white there, but um, there's a few things we could do to do that, uh, to make that look a little bit better. Perhaps we could change out trapdoors when we upgrade to update aquatic. That could be a different look. Could use the spruce uh, trapdoors. Um, yeah, some ideas. I've got some things that are starting to, yeah, get the, I guess the creativity flowing. So, for now, we're going to leave it with this color scheme, but we could probably change these blocks in the future. So I've spent some more time working on this area, and let's see if you guys can notice any difference. So. First of all, we've got a large tree right in our face. <laughs> so I've added more detail around here. I've got some shrubs, some flowers planted around here. You can see I've added in some of these hay bales. Switched out the ground around here. So we've got some soul sand, some coarse dirt, and the path block mixed in now as well. And extended the path a little bit. Really tying it together in my opinion. You can see that the quartz is now gone. <laughs> I've decided to switch that out for a wood variant. Um, cart here. I think it ties it in a little bit better between these two buildings. I do like the, the white look of the cart, but I think for this setting this is just a better look, so let me know what you guys think. And I've just added in some weed around here as well and put in a little path section along here. Now check this out, I also put in this little retaining wall. It's just got a full block, a couple of stairs, and it's created this little archway. Very simple, but I thought this would be nice to have some kind of retaining wall here, particularly where we've got something parked right up on the edge here. We wouldn't want it to slide into this water down here. So I think having this like little retaining section here is going to really make this area come uh, to life and a little bit more complete. I thought it looked a bit strange where it had a, just an edge drop off right there. So <laughs> hopefully that looks good for you guys as well. And I uh, still haven't connected this path. I am inching my way closer, but I will eventually join up these paths. But I am really happy the way this place has turned out. So I wanted to show you guys the little bit of changes I made here. It's a shame I didn't record it, but you can see the end result, which I think is just as good. Anyway, so, yep, you stay there, horse. I did actually try <laughs> leaving this horse in one spot by putting some fences around the guy, but he's still turned around. Like, you can put him in a single spot, he'll still move around, so it doesn't really matter what I do with this guy. Hopefully you stay leashed, that's the main concern, but other than that... Hopefully you can just not wander off with a cart. <laughs> anyway, so I wanted to show you guys these changes. I'll work on something else in the next episode. I know I've probably focused on this section a little bit too long now, but hopefully the end result is worth it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.